Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Sushma. Today we shall see a video on how to convert the data in the database using into an XML, Excel format using Informatica MFT. Uh, without lagging, I shall directly go into a demo where I'll show you the predefined steps on how you can, you know, convert the data from database to Excel format using Informatica MFT. Log into Informatica MFT console. Once you log in, click on the resources. Once you click on the resources, you have an op in the resource types, go to database servers. So you can add the database server on based on your requirement. You can have it in a SQL server or a DB2. Uh, you can see the list of the Informex, Oracle, SQL Server, Postgres, Sybase, IBM DB2. I already have some predefined uh, connections. So, uh, I have for Oracle as well as SQL Server. So let me show it for Oracle. So when you drop down this driver list, you'll be not seeing the driver provided by Informatica. So it will be uh, it, the Oracle over here will be an, a thin client driver. So if you want to add a customized thing, go to the JDBC URL wizard, go to the custom. So over here in the custom, you should be able to provide the driver based on your specification. So as I provided com informatica JDBC Oracle driver, you can append it here and customized URL on based on what is your requirement. So once it has been uh, done, provide the username and password. And in case if your password is encrypted, click on encrypted and say, say is uh, password encrypted, select it as yes. So save it and test your connections. You can test the connection over here. If at all there's any error messages, you should be getting the error messages else you can proceed. Once you have your DB connection created, go to the pro workflows projects. You can create a project over here. So here, create project. So select the template. Database to Excel to email template. So the project template will be exporting the data from relational database to Excel format and then email to email the Excel file to you. Go to connect database and from the drop down list use the database server which you have already created and retrieve the data you should be able to provide whatever uh, the columns you have. So for me I have a table called test and the columns are column 1, 2, 3. I have inserted some values. So this will be my query. So what are the values in the columns? So I will be providing the same. Convert to Excel. So you, your label will be convert to Excel, the location where you want to f save the file. So mine is slash data slash yes. user. So if at all uh, the file is already existing, what do you like to do? You want to rename uh, the sheet or the file, you want to overwrite, you want to append, you want to error out saying like the file is already existing. And the file format, you want in Excel 2003 format or Excel 2007 format. There is some data options, whether you want to trim the data or you don't want to trim the data. You won't have any spaces, you need to preserve it. Title of the Excel file, so I'll be making it as test table. I will be uh, removing the Excel to uh, uh, email the Excel file. Uh, if at all you want to have an email to Excel file, you can configure a SMTP server and provide the concerned e uh, required email uh, details uh, along with the subject and the uh, message. So I I would not require this. So I'll be delete selecting the template and I'll be deleting it. So save the project. Validate it. 
and then execute. The error message will be something similar if the if your you know SQL statement is not executed properly or not. So based on that, you'll be getting the error messages. So validate again and execute. So you can see that the uh, the project has been executed successfully and the file is created. So I'll go to my this is the file. So I'll open it into the Windows location. So once the file you open the file, uh, this will be the column name, the columns, and the values. With this, you'll be able to uh, with following the same steps, you'll be able to you know export the columns from database to Excel file and also e email it. Uh, we would like to have the feedback of you. So please provide your feedback in support videos at informatica.com, tweet us in twitter.com, infasupport, and also you can provide your feedback in youtube.com, user infasupport. Thank you.